Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Good. We can do better than this, right? This is React Conf. How's everyone doing? Nice. Okay. Today, we're going to be talking about how to build modern emails using React. It seems like we're all thinking the same things recently, right? Like, what browser should I use? Uh, it seems like every new, single day there's a new browser uh, coming out. And although it may seem hard or, or difficult to choose, I actually think this is great, you know, more options. I remember when I started building software, uh, there was just one single browser, this one. Uh, if you remember IE6, uh, that was the browser that you would build your websites uh, and you would test and you would try to make it work. And then, of course, there are a few others that were a little bit smaller, like Firefox and Safari and Opera. But to build a website that would work the same for every single uh, browser was really difficult. You would have to use these super ugly prefixes and all these sort of polyfill JavaScript libraries. So it was not a great uh, experience at all. You would go to websites like Can I Use? And you would have to search every single feature to make sure that it works well in that browser that you're uh, targeting. Well, we don't live in that world anymore, right? We build one website now, it works everywhere, and it's beautiful. Uh, and I thought that was the case for everything that was web-related. Until one day, until the day that a designer on my team sent me this Figma file. And he asked me, hey, can you build this? We need this email template. And yeah, here's the file. So it's not a super complex template, right? Uh, you have some uh, columns, and uh, you have some padding going on, a button, all that. But I quickly realized as I was building this that, you know what, SVG actually doesn't work on email. And border radius, good luck, uh, also doesn't work. It, yeah, right? It drives you crazy. Uh, and you have to go to caniemail.com, for example, to look at those uh, compatibility uh, checkers. So to create an email that will look the same on Gmail, and Yahoo Mail, and Outlook, and Apple Mail. Not only the old email clients, but the new ones too. Superhuman, Hey, Notion Mail. Uh, it's still extremely painful. So as a developer, I just thought, you know what? I'm sure someone fixed this problem. Uh, so let me just look around. I'm sure there's an open source project for that. So I found this one, uh, and this was a really great tagline. You know, it would help me build responsive emails. So I went to their GitHub repo, and I found that the last commit was seven years ago. So I'm like, OK, maybe not that one. Uh, and then I found MJML, which seemed really promising. And then I look at the docs, and it was pretty outdated. Uh, the whole experience seemed really outdated. So decided to you know what, let me see if I can solve that problem once and for all. Uh, there's so many great technologies today. Let, let me try to fix that with those. So as uh, an engineer, uh, what do you do when you have an idea? You buy a domain, and then you tweet about it. So that's what I did. I said, hey, I'm building a new side project. There was no website. There was nothing there. Uh, check it out, react.email. And of course, the first reaction was, but why? <laughs> um, and that's a, an actually valid question. Why? Uh, I feel like side projects are amazing because they can combine the things that you're really interested on, the, the skills that you want to learn. And that's where I was back then. I wanted to combine React with this new email world that I was not used to. So let's going to build a template together here uh, with React email. And we're going to take the Stripe email template as a reference. It just looks great. Everything that Stripe does looks great, right? So let's use that uh, as, a, as an example. So we're going to do three things here. We're going to code that email template, then we're going to test it, and then we're going to send it. Those are the three things. So let's start with coding. Well, the cool thing about React email, it has this great email package that generates all the files for you, so we're going to get started with that. And this will generate this packet JSON with React email as a dev dependency, and also this email CLI that I can use. 
And once I run this on my local server, I get this localhost 3000 URL, and I have this environment where I can build my email template. So this is good. Uh, it's a good first step, but I still don't have an email template. So let's start coding that. So the same way that Radix has those unstyled components, uh, React email comes with that too. So you have body, container, and sections, and buttons. And you can just import those components and start using. So here we're going to just style them using uh, CSS. So we're going to do like a background color, a container uh, as well. Let's create some margins and align to the center. And this is what we have now. So nothing too impressive, uh, but it's a start. Um, oops. So let's keep adding. So we're going to add a section with an image, with a line break, and some paragraphs. We're going to continue style using CSS. And now we have something. So this email looks great, uh, but no one really writes vanilla CSS these days, right? Uh, we all love Tailwind. So what if we could add Tailwind to, to the game? So here's the Tailwind component and with a body, and we can just use Tailwind classes. So that's much better. But we don't also use vanilla JS anymore. Uh, at, le at least that's what I'm seeing. Uh, TypeScript is everywhere. So why not create some variables? Some are optional, some are not. And we can just use those variables in our email template. And we can fail the build if those variables are not there. So this is super cool. The power of Tailwind, the power of React, and the power of TypeScript on your email. So let's start testing that. Uh, here, I'm going to go to the local environment. And I, the cool thing about React email is that you can toggle between uh, the different uh, mobile and desktop views, and you can send a test email uh, right from this environment. So once you send that test email, you can see that on your inbox, and you can send to Apple Mail and see how that renders. You can go to AOL and see how that renders. You can go to Outlook, and it looks the same. Uh, how beautiful is that with React, with Tailwind? Um, but what about broken links, right? Super common when you're building a template. You go, and then sometimes you might miss uh, an href. So here we have a button with an invalid href. So we can tweak that uh, and then go to this linter, and you can see here in the bottom that this link is broken because of an invalid syntax. So we can go ahead, fix that. Uh, but actually, let, let's use a broken link again. So this is a URL that doesn't exist. This is going to return a 404. And the cool thing about this linter, once you run it again, is that uh, it's going to show that there was a fetch attempt, but it returned a 404. Um, <clears throat> So when we go and then we fix to an actual uh, link that exists uh, and run it again, it passes. So there are other tools here like compatibility matrix and spam checker, and this is super useful. Now we're ready to send. So we have the template we tested. So React email comes with this util function called render. So we can just import the function and then uh, pass the component, and then you get a plain HTML file. Uh, this is compatible with any service that accepts HTML, so uh, you can use whatever you want. But my dream DX will be importing the component and then just calling and using that React component with all the parameters that I, I want to use. So why not create a better email API, too? Uh, so again, I bought a domain, and uh, I just tweeted about it. Hey, I'm starting recent. First reaction was slowest landing page uh, I've seen in 2023. But it's been a long time since 2023. Uh, recent is now used by Warner Brothers and HBO Max and so many great companies. Uh, there are more than 500,000 users. Uh, some of you are actually here. Um, Recent recently uh, uh, raised more than $18 million uh, last year. And when I, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. 
when I look back at this, I think about, uh, you know, I could have just had that idea for that side project and not done anything, or had an idea for this email API and just said, you know what, next week I can make it, or tomorrow I can make it. Uh, but if, if you have an idea, if you're listening to this online or if you're here, uh, I highly suggest you, I highly encourage you to just start something. Make that first commit, make that first git push, uh, and see what happens. If you're here at the conference, we have a booth. Come, please say hi. If you're watching this online, hello. Uh, we're actually dropping a new React email website uh, to celebrate that we are here. Uh, this is a sneak peek. It's going live uh, tomorrow. And yeah, thank you so much.